Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I am down Sydney Mines, just behind the ball field, and we are flying the Autel Evo Light Plus. So I'm just about ready. We're going to start a screen recording. And into the Autel Sky app. Now I'm using my iPhone because it will not allow me to log in to my Autel account with my Samsung for some reason. It uh, keeps telling me it's the wrong password or login info, and it's not, it's correct. So okay, I'm ready guys. We have 17 satellites. I have an ND4 filter on the drone too. So let's take off. Now this oh, is one of the refresh. four pack that comes with the drone. So we'll see how it is here. Okay, let's, uh, this one's that guys, I get rid of the beeping here. There's a sled coming underneath me. I'll show you him right now. There he goes. So I just wanted to see what uh, resolution we're in here, and I forget where it's at on this drone. It's in the options. Camera. Uh, it's not in there. Exit fast. Let's get this drone up so it'll stop beeping here. Okay, there we go. Right here. Here we go. I don't want it on 6K. We're going to put it on the 4K. There we go. And we can't have HDR. Not available in Pro mode. Okay, so we're going to film at... Bring it down to 30 frames a second here. Because I have the cameras filming at 30, I believe. Actually. Yeah, I think that'd be easiest. So when I have 30 frames a second, let's start recording. Start recording. Okay, guys. And up and out we go here. Camera down just a little bit. So that filter takes uh, a lot of the uh, glare and that out. Certainly out of the snow. I don't know why the sensor is beeping off. There. There's nothing around the drone. Let's see if we can uh, turn the avoidance off. Um... And settings, obstacle avoidance sensor, let's turn that off. Okay, there we go. Shouldn't hear any more of that uh, dinging off there, guys. I'm not going to go too high. We have 19 kilometer an hour gusts here today. I've got this in standard mode. Let's put it to smooth. There we go. 19 satellites. It's a ball field. You can see that's so much snow still here, guys. We were supposed to get another storm, I believe, last night, but we didn't get it. So hopefully we're done for this year for snow. I highly doubt it, but uh, it would be nice to see no more of it fall. Camera up. You guys can see where I'm parked there. Absolutely beautiful drone this is, guys. Kind of glad I had the flyaway to be able to get this drone. Because I, I just could not afford to sink that much money into a drone. Like, it's, it's pretty close to... It's over $2,000 for this drone. another car pulling in here what I do love about this is it's like the v-copter you can take pictures while you're filming let's get over because that car is uh, trying to go around the track here which she shouldn't be doing 
It's a walking track, not a driving track. It's just turning around. And apparently parking there. I guess she's going to walk with her dog. I seem to have noticed a dog in the car. But yeah, this is a tremendous drone, guys. This is the biggest competitor to DJI. If you don't want to pick up a DJI drone, go for this company. You know, they do have uh, horrible customer service. Absolutely horrible customer service. I had to uh, really, really fight to uh, even get a 50% off for this. Now, it was obviously something wrong with the drone where it flew away. And just over to behind me here. Just barely behind me. You guys can see the car there now. Just coming back over me. I'm only up 39 meters, guys. Put the camera up. Gain a bit of altitude. At 60 meters. I've only flown this drone, I believe, three times. Uh, may maybe five, maybe. Because I've used the other phone and flown it once or twice. And it's not registering every flight in the app because it's logged in on this phone and not the other. So when I fly with the Samsung, it doesn't register on the account the flights I've done. Which is why I'm using this phone. So if something were to happen, I would like to have it recorded in the app. To show that it did happen. Even though Autel are going to give me a very hard time to replace it if something did happen. That's the biggest downside of Autel, guys, is their customer service. It really sucks. But their drones are very, very good drones. The Nano I had, it was great right up until that last update. Start heading back this way. Yeah, I'm only in smooth mode and it's, uh, it's fighting any little wind that's out there. Supposedly 19 kilometer an hour gusts. But only like, I, I believe it said four mile, four kilometer an hour wind. Another car here pulling in beside me. And he better not run over my landing pad because he's, he's pulled right ahead of me there. Well, I, uh, Thought this was a good place to fly, guys. It was empty when I got here, but uh, everybody seems to be piling in here now. I'm going to gain some altitude. I want to get a couple of pictures around. You can hear a sled down that way just gunning us. Just about 100 meters up. There we go. Just passing the 100. Get it up to the 120. Right there, 119 meters. And I'm going to get a couple of pictures Reach here, the guys. Maximum altitude. So we're going to snap a photo there. Spin the drone around. And another photo. The water side. 
that's another one. Um, one thing I haven't checked in this is panels. Can we do a panel on this? So let's, uh, where are our camera options here? Um, in here yes we can do panels just how do we do them uh, it's been that long guys see I don't remember how to use this app um, we're down to 74 percent battery how do we take a panel Jeez, I'm not sure, guys. I'm getting a warning there. I think it was just a max altitude warning. Let's bring it down to 100 meters. 107 meters. Yeah, the sky's not all blown out with that filter on anyway, guys. You can pick the clouds out. They're not blown, totally blown out with white. It, uh really uh makes the drone camera look much better let's get a photo of that side zoom in that's florence beach we're looking at from that area so i have a big center screen there zoom four times what i love about this drone is the zoom guys because it, it doesn't lose uh, doesn't lose anything on the image when you zoom. Let's take a photo. There we go. And zoom back out. So panels. How do we do the panels? Um, see, so we got options in here for it. Let's uh, stop, stop recording. recording. That's how we get into it. Then we pick here, and it's not there. We have to be on photos. Photo resolution, we have that maxed out. There we go, photo mode. Okay, turn the HDR on. But I still don't see panels there. Ah, okay, I, I remember now, guys. We have to slide on the app here. There we go. There's our panel. So, we are going to take a wide angle. We're going to turn around, face town. Which is this direction and take a panel it's going to take nine photos it's going to take up down center and go across but the quality on this drone guys the quality of the pictures is absolutely phenomenal Just the uh, price tag is very, very high on this drone. There we go. There's our nine photos. So we're going to go back to shoot mode, put the video on, and start recording. Start recording. So we're down to 65% battery. So I guess that's about it, guys. Well, I am going to uh, back up, get a thumbnail pick, and we're going to bring this in for a landing. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's flight. If you're new to the channel, please con consider subscribing. Leave a like and a comment. Make sure those notifications are on. And until the next one, peace and out.
Yes, I-